kind of fighting an uphill battle with your lead leg block. All right. So you actually get into a decent block here, right? But it's a little bit too late when our knee starts to extend. All right. And that's not something we consciously do. It's, it's, it's the, the, the femur, um, or the pelvis rotating over the fixed femur, which is going to in influence that knee to extend when that occurs, that's going to be the, the, the highest point of essentially force with that lead leg. And at that point we want our arm into like full layback. And you can see here, you're already at ball release, but it's a byproduct to me of not clearing your hips. All right. So stay with me on this. I know it can get somewhat over complex, but I look at hip rotation mechanics being affected by your drive leg into early kind of drive leg extension here, almost like jumpy ish, if you will. Right. Instead of snapping into rotation in comparison to like kind of skater jumping or, or leaping into front foot strike, which is going to throw off the alignment. Um, so when you come down, don't fully have the hips cleared. So where now when you're going to block and send energy up, your knee has to then bow out first, which is not what we want. We want to, we want to anchor down and have, and be linear as possible for that system to work efficiently and not have to then bow out. Same with Stamont here again. Um, coming down, do you see like his front foot landing foot and his lead leg is in the direction of which he is now expressing this energy. So now that knee extends right there at full layback. That's what I was kind of referring to, if that didn't make sense. And now you have this, all this kinetic energy through, through the chain available at ball release, right? because he cleared the hips before he got that front foot anchored down. You can see the hip positioning and the amount of separation he's getting and look at the back foot, right? So the back foot's going to give us a pretty good indication of where that rear hip is. So when you land, you're landing right here. So it could be a piece that is a little bit late to rotate. Um, that is not putting you in the best position possible coming down to landing. All right, dudes, Robbie Rowe here. Thank you for watching that video. If you're interested in booking your own mechanical analysis, you can click that link right there. Also tell you a little bit about the service and what it entails. Hit that link right there. Subscribe, please. You can also check out that video right there, which is related to the video that you just watched. If you want to get some more context on that. All right, guys, much love. God bless. Till next time. See ya. Strike three, you're out.